FSU is favored at Clemson. Two and a half point favorite. And this is a noon kickoff. Saturday at 12, high noon Eastern on ABC. It is the first time Clemson has been a home underdog since 2016. Clemson has won 25 straight ACC home games. This is a referendum game is what it is. I don't really care about the rest of that. I was just reading it for your amusement. But I was doing radio with our guys at 1080 up in Portland, of all places, the other day. And we were talking about this game. And I said the same thing I'm going to say right now. This FSU Clemson game is the referendum game. Because as much as Clemson looked bad losing to Duke in week one and as unspecial as they looked at certain positions, that wasn't the one where they were really going to be exposed. That wasn't the one that anyone was going to really turn on Dabo because of. That was just kind of ugly. But this one right here, when you've got a head coach in Dabo Swinney that has refused voluntarily to use that portal, and you got a guy in Mike Norvell who has rebuilt his entire roster heavily using that portal, those are two different philosophies, very obviously. But now they're going to go head-to-head. Road team's favored in your building. And you're, you're already wounded. You took one to the kneecaps in week one, and it was a conference game. So you don't have any margin for error. And I've said ever since that game, if Florida State comes in here and embarrasses you, if they win by double digits, uh, that is the stamp on your forehead that you can't afford. And I'm not talking about just with this year. So this is a big deal, big referendum game. Where will the Clemson offense come from? This is my first question for you. The first thing, actually, I got a, I got a 1A and a 1B. 1A, as I think back to that Duke game, is can anyone out there promise me turnovers won't be a big SU for Clemson in this game? Because I can't even promise you I can pronounce the school right. So can you promise me an even turnover game? Let's just say for the sake of argument, it's, it's even in the turnover battle. One apiece or maybe zero apiece. Clean game. If we get that, still... Where does the offense come from for Clemson? Shipley and Maffa, 6.4 yards per carry so far this year. Cade Klubnick, I think, also has to be a factor here. Look, I know a lot of people who watched the LSU game for Florida State, and they haven't watched them since then. They're thinking of FSU as like this superpower team. Uh, they, They got gashed last week. And specifically, that quarterback for Boston College gashed them. So... Yeah, it's there to be had. Now, I think that was a wake-up call, but it's there to be had. I wonder how effective Cade Klubnick could be at using his feet. I asked one of our evaluators today, who shall remain nameless, I said, how would you describe Cade Klubnick's running ability? And they said, he's a, he's a saturated Joe Burrow. It's one of those really, really edgy, like, like next-level evaluation terms that I'm just not ready for yet. A saturated Joe Burrow. And so with that in mind, can they run the ball well enough? Uh, or also, are they going to keep the game close enough to where they can't afford to run the ball? Here's the deciding factor to me. FSU Clemson, I'll save you some time. I think the deciding factor is Clemson so far this year has been good in the secondary at limiting explosive pass plays. I know the natural follow-up is, well, Josh, whomst have they played? Answer, not very much. But they'll get a heavy dose of it Saturday at high noon or shortly thereafter. FSU has eight plays through the air already of 30 yards or more. Next question, is Clemson's front going to be able to pressure enough? Because really, it's been a mixed bag of results so far from them. Now, I, I don't know. I think about, uh, both of them probably have bottled things up that we haven't seen yet for this game. That's natural. I expect an inspired effort from Clemson. I really do. I know that that program treats doubt and disrespect like oxygen. And so they've got it. They got the, they've got the oxygen mask on. Two and a half point dog. Unranked. There it is. The oxygen mask has been applied. Dabo's got to love it. However... FSU could silence that place. They go up 10-0 because there's this sting in the pit of your stomach when you know your team's vulnerable. Bama folks are going to feel it Saturday if Ole Miss goes up early. Clemson folks will feel it. If Florida State goes up early and you know you've already been wounded by a much lesser team, all due respect, there's that thing in your stomach that says, "Uh uh-oh. 
and you kind of go quiet because human nature sets in. And 12 o'clock, that place is insane. And 12, 18, that place is crickets. And it's not even, you know, halftime. FSU can do that. Clemson has been suspect in field goal kicking. So much so that allegedly, reportedly, they brought a guy out of retirement who's in grad school to kick field goals for him. Other than that, everything's great at Clemson right now. So let's take a look at what the model thinks. Let's take a look at what Vegas thinks. The current number as of Tuesday night at 7.27 p.m. Central Standard Time is Florida State minus 2.5. The model is even tighter than that. Model's got it as a straight-up pick em. I've got to be honest with you. I think Florida State's going to win the game convincingly. And so I'm going to take FSU to win. I'm going to take them to cover. Somehow, some way, I think last week's near debacle at Boston College will serve this team well. I also want to ask you guys this question. I'm not going to answer it. I'm just going to ask it. Who has the coaching edge in this game? There are two very different schools of thought there. One of you will think from this point moving forward, you may have immense respect for Mike Norvell, and you may say Norvell and staff. Uh, the other person in the room may look at Dabo's track record and his resume and say he's won multiple titles. How could you ever claim that a guy with none is better than a guy with multiple? Different ways of thinking. Um, comment section will be open. Who do you think the better coaching staff is? Who do you give the coaching edge to? I'm taking FSU to win. I'm taking them to cover. I think they're the best team in the ACC.